All right, third graders, today our grammar lesson is going to be on plural nouns. We're going to review singular nouns, though. Review with students what a pronoun is. Ask students to name singular pronouns that can replace the girl. Okay, so a pronoun is something that can replace a noun. If it's singular, we're talking about one. So to replace the girl, we can use she or her. Now I'm going to introduce plural nouns. A plural noun replaces a plural noun, I'm sorry, a plural pronoun replaces a plural noun or more than one noun. First person plural pronouns are we and us. The second person plural pronoun is you. The third person pronouns are they and them. A plural pronoun must match the noun or nouns that it replaces. For example, Nate and Kate, that's my noun. Okay, I've got more than one, saw the boys. So to replace that, I'm going to say they saw them and them is replacing the boys. Okay, let's do some practice. Identify the pronoun that can replace the underlined words. Tell whether it is singular or plural. Tina and Bill play basketball. I have two people, they play basketball. So that one would be plural. Number two. The ball was on the table. I'm talking about one ball, it was on the table. So that would be singular. Number three, Brad showed the birdhouse to Tina and me. This one is at the end of the sentence, Tina and me. Me is talking about myself, so I have to say showed it to us we would be at the beginning of the sentence. I invited Brad and Mike to the game. I invited them to the game. And that would be plural because I'm talking about two people. Tina is my friend. Okay. Since it's at the beginning of the sentence, she is my friend. Okay. I don't say her is my friend, she comes at the beginning. Number six, Mike and I live in the city. Okay, I'm talking about more than one person. I'm talking about Mike and myself. So I have to say we live in the city. If it was just Mike, then it would be he, but I am involved as well. Okay, now your job is to complete the grammar page 130. Okay, let's do the first couple together. So the words that you are going to be using, we, you, they, us, and them. Number one, James, Sarah, and I decided to start a cookie business. Okay, my noun is plural here because I have three people, I, am involved, so we have to use the word we. Number two, have you and your friends ever tried to start a business? Okay, this one's a little tricky. This one is you. Okay, I'm talking about you and your friends, but I'm still using the word you. Okay, so I want you to finish three through 10. Remember, only use the words we, you, they, us, and them. Okay, when you're done, go ahead and check your answers.